Arena. This is a good map. Oh, Dravidians, though. Oof. Cut to win. Cut to win. I have no idea how I want to play this, but I'm scared that my my actions bank will not allow me to execute it as I want. What's the best save to play against you in limited mode? I'm not going to tell you. You guys will try to pick that save and pick that strategy and you'll try to snipe me. I'm not going to tell anyone. I know there's a lot of you that are queuing up when you see me queuing around this elo. I think I will play some sort of monk elephant push. I feel like I cannot go into a boom battle. Maybe I can, but... Hey. Booming is tough with the limited Don't actions. Don't do Don't do he showed his scout. You never want to show your scout when your opponent is faster than Fuelage on Arena, because then I can come and come and catch you. Like this, this you should never do this, right? He gets more HP in Fuelage, in particular, right? So you really want, never want to lose your potential scout advantage. Like if you're Turks or Franks or anything with bonus in Fuelage or Castlage. Right now he just gave away a potentially huge lead. Oh shit, this was a big mistake by me to chase him, because he now has more HP. It worked out for him, but point is, it shouldn't have. Looks like he was using auto scout. I have more HP now, it's fine. She also is going to make me ballsy and move out and build a barracks in the middle of the map. I'm going to buy 100 food just to get eco upgrades. And we go out without loom and hope there are no wolves. I'm going to do a barrack, one seed push up and one monastery, and we're just going to apply some pressure. Well, I'll probably maybe add some TCs at home as well. Good thing is here, I don't need wood for my ram now, because it's going to be a siege elephant. Also, pikeman upgrade is cheaper. We could even maybe justify doing the pikeman upgrade. So he's still feudal age, so this could catch him quite quickly off guard. Feels like it's taking forever. Do a mangonel. We have a discount on a wood cost of mangonels, so might as well. Pick up the relic. I'm just gonna put him on auto scouting. Alright, what's the answer, sir? Ooh. I'm just gonna go here and work on his buildings, honestly. Him dropping a castle probably means they didn't drop TCs immediately. I feel my limited my limited actions. Where are the relics at? We are in. You might be over preparing for an attack that isn't there. Hopefully. See workshop. Wait, did he grab the last relic? Or do I have all them? Oh, I have all them. Okay, never mind. Convert! Not sure. Oh, that's an interesting farm. He does have a mango now. Oh! We will bring the mangonel in and we shall fight. Mangonel micro. I think I'm gonna end up going fast imp purely from being housed right now. So we now just drop a castle forward as we go to Imperial Age. Oh. Without microing me. I'm fine with that. We know he doesn't have army to punish us here. So this is now simple. Like his, his reaction was probably too strong. He has a healthy farm eco it looks like. But he did a castle drop and he didn't really use the castle for anything except defense. Which means he did invest a lot. And which also didn't further his economy. So we are just in a really good position here. He could have a mangonel here punishing this, but I don't think so. I don't think he feels like he can move out. And this should be really hard for him to stop overall. 
Yeah, okay, those two castles with being an Emperor Lich. There's no way back for him. Man, I could also make my own skirms because we have better skirms. That is an option. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I'm not sure how it opened, right? Maybe he was mining stone from the get-go. Maybe he was planning to drop a forward cast himself, right? And then he ended up having to do it defensive because uh, because I came with the forward push, right? And that probably slowed down his town center production, farming and so forth. And then we just build up a lead. Timing, positioning, adaptation, right? Our eco isn't great, obviously. But we have an eco balance with five relics where we could afford everything we're doing. And it's really hard to stop. This can be done with any save, by the way. So another 40 elo puts us to 1301. I'm enjoying myself so far on the arena because arena, I think, is a good place to have low APM. Spanish. So, I think it is good for me. I think this is a very straightforward case of castle drop in the face and make conks. You think this challenge improves the efficiency of your actions? Compared to when I play regularly, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say so. No. But when you have when you're playing with this very specific restriction in mind, it definitely makes me think a lot more about my clicks. So I don't make wasteful clicks like I would spam hotkey, control group, TC, all that stuff, right? So I'm, I have to be a lot more aware. I'm not sure. I don't think this has any impact on like improving my level otherwise, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll come up with some ideas for strategies like by playing like this that could be very effective in. Uh, with, without the restrictions. So there is a chance I realize that something can work by playing like this. But I wouldn't say it's my APM bank is out. Dangerous. Oh god. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's gonna be fine. But that was not pretty. I'm just lucky to get arena. I'm not I'm not banning any save anything. I'm not picking a save. I'm just queuing up and playing what I'm getting. Yeah, I think at the ELO I'm at right now, there are a lot of arena enjoyers. Let's stay one lumber camp, because we're gonna try and do this fast. I think there are a lot of arena enjoyers on this elo. This is too ambitious. 24 pop. I guess I'm going to do a loom, so it might be fine. This feels very ambitious. This feels unnecessary given that I'm about to be fuelage. Probably faster than him, hopefully. You need a house. Oh, he's faster. Wait, what? Why is he so fast? Wait, that's like a 20... Oh, shit. He's tower rushing. <laughs> okay. He hit my berries perfectly. I think we just go all out still. Castle drop. Conks. Enjoy. Okay, he cannot reach the wheels on the left side. Oh, he did the fetching. And my loom wasn't finished. Hmm. This can be tough. Okay. 
I think I idle my TC as well. It's more important for me to get up. He's going for my gate. On paper, a gate is... It can be better because you open more space, but it also has more HP, so it takes longer. Okay, where's his next tower? Coming to my gold. I have another gold in the back, so this is not a problem for me. We can just calmly not overreact and then we're fine. I need though to add more farms. Mining camp is a little bit off. Servidora. Viper, funnily enough, I did exact same series a week ago. 50 APM to conk. Ah, okay. Nice. How are you doing it? With uh, Like, do you have a program or something? And I did it before you, because I did it before... I also did it last week. You stole my content, bro. AV4 World APM Tracker. Does that deny input? Like, the program we're using denies input. Like, when I get to zero, I cannot do anything. Yeah, we, need, we want a castle that can deny, take all three towers in one go. I don't have APM to click! Construir. As Spanish, this will go up no matter what. He sent a lot of villages forward. As Spanish villagers, man, this will go up. He realizes. <laughs> this castle, if I do fletching, will take all the towers. Do one monastery. Make one conquistador. And... We're chilling. So follow up here. We just pick up the relics. And then we just go fast imp and do a second castle drop forward. I think that is what makes sense. Petards? Yeah, I could, but I feel like he will have towers everywhere. We can do one petard. I don't think that hurts. Maybe he won't think about it. We make like a few conks just to harass. Wait, there's no relics there. You go for this one and go back. You go here. Big conks can do a lot of work. The software to show the APM in the past was called um, Desktop APM. Oh, he's not reacted in time. Hello! Oh, I would not recommend that. I understand the reaction, feeling like, oh, I need a tower here, but yeah, that was not it. Punks in the economy and when you're in feud lich is no bueno. Like, I would have won this game easily if I just added town centers and boomed as well, right? But it's just like when you when you get such an early lead in any way, you can always pick kind of how you want to win. There are a few ways where you can lose. And that is like, okay, now what do I do now? Uh, let me go uh, let me go full monk rush and not add economy whatsoever, right? Then you could have maybe dropped stables, go scouts and count you, right? What is like absolute win conditions here? Like easy, should never go wrong. Because I have conquistadors. 
I have the option to go fast in, but I have the option to drop castles. I have the option to add town centers. All of those are very safe bets in my current situation. And once we get imp, we can build whatever. I think we don't... Okay. That makes sense as well. Again, yeah, I'm fine getting arena. Arena, I feel like I can climb easily to like maybe 14, 15, 16, 1700. We got 37 elo. So our elo is now 38. We're approaching 1400. Fast and furious. 